Hello, all. So today I'll uh, be creating one more control, which is to include the uh, files. That include will be acting as a kind of template from where we can create the other templates. So all the reusable things can be defined uh, here. So actually, for that I have created a template folder, and inside the template we have the deploy.yaml. It can be any name. So here I have deployed the uh, and defined the particular job with the stage as deploy, and uh, again you can place your deployment schedule or any other thing. So this is basically used to create a template where it can be called uh, again and again whenever required. So it can be act as a kind of a blueprint, uh, which can be referred again and again. So it can uh, be uh, deployed as a reusable uh, concept. So whenever we need, we can just call this. So uh, we have created the template or the blueprint for the deploy. Now in the actual pipeline, which I'll create, uh, which I've, uh, let me create the actual pipeline. Okay, so this is the file which I'm creating for creating the CI CD, uh, GitLab SPI.yaml. Now the include keyword understands like uh, which files it needs to include. So I have mentioned like uh, the local as uh, templates uh, deploy.yaml, it should find the local directory. And then uh, which is like whenever it, it is downloaded, it should go to this uh, file and then uh, it can refer for whatever thing we need. So here we have defined the build stage, the stages and deploy stages. So build and test job is defined. The uh, stages are here, and we are doing the respective uh, things which we have done in the previous uh, drill, which is like uh, executing our own scripts or maybe just uh, execute the message for now to make it simple. Uh, just note like deploy is not here, and it is defined over the template. So we will we are just calling the stage here, but the actual stage is defined uh, over the template folder. So if I open it here. You go to templates, uh, you can go to deploy.yaml and you can see the deploy stages here. So it should be exactly the same name should be here. So I have just included deploy and we have not mentioned here. So automatically this will be called when uh, we define it over using the include uh, control and we define the location where it, uh, deploy.yaml is there. So this is the local keyword, which means it is using in the local workspace. I'll just commit this file. The expectation is like once it starts the uh, CI CD pipeline, uh, what it will do is it should uh, create the build and test, and uh, along with this, it should also deploy. This is mentioned in here, and uh, from the templates, uh, templates deploy.yaml, it will be uh, get fetching the deploy stages and uh, it will be doing the, I mean, displaying the required deploy job also. So we can see the required uh, pipeline is set up that is build, test, deploy, and once all these are executed. Uh, we can uh, say like uh, our uh, template part, which uh, template part is including the deploy, which is being called into the uh, main uh, CI/CD pipeline of .gitlab .ci.yaml, and it is executing. So the template kind uh, of thing or reusable things can be uh, created in the template folder, and it can be included in the main uh, YAML or your pipeline YAML, and where you can use the include keyword and mention the template path. So here again, if you go, you will be seeing. Uh, again, it is running on the GitLab runner, uh, particularly specific to the GitLab runner available in the GitLab. Again, it is downloading the image uh, Ruby and then uh, it is checking out the source code you can see here. And we have the Docker image here and it is printing our build step which we mentioned. It is passed the step, so I'll just go there. And right now it is going into the test stage. So test stage also it will do the same thing, which is again, uh, picking up the uh, required uh, GitLab runner. And then preparing the environment, and it is uh, the test table also is done. Now it will go to the deploy stage once uh, the test is success. And test is also success, and deploy is also success. It's very fast, and we can see uh, the same thing with the deploy. It will be like whatever we mentioned over the template again, picking up the required GitLab runner from GitLab, uh, executing the or pulling the Docker image, and then executing our scripts we are going from the included file. So that's how we can implement the blueprints and define the template which are common, reusable, we can define and call it anywhere in the pipeline.